Hello and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective. And today I have an interesting accessory from Blitzwoof. So this is actually uh, being brought to us by Banggood, which you've probably heard of if you've uh, dabbled with electronics before. Uh, they're a Chinese reseller that has pretty much everything you could imagine underneath the sun. And they reached out and they wanted me to take a look at this, and I agreed. So a couple things before we get going here is I did not personally uh, purchase this. It was provided, uh, from my understanding, by Banggood on behalf of Blitzwoof for uh, me to test. So while I did not personally purchase this, my reviews and my opinions remain my own. If you happen to buy something using the code in the description below, of course, I get a small commission, but that's about it. I just like to be transparent and upfront with those sorts of things. Now, you might notice that there's a piece of tape on the side here, and that is because this was attached uh, to it. And it says, for export only uh, travel adapter, and it looks like a very, very basic um, device that would convert these plugs down to the standard North American plug, or US plug. Um, I don't actually think that this is going to be needed uh, if this device is working properly. And the reason I say that is because this comes with a US plug and the input is well within the range of what should work uh, on the continent of North America. So with all that out of the way, let's just go ahead and unbox this and take a look at what this device actually is. And that is essentially a GAN charger for the desktop. Now what it allows you to do is input uh, through the back there using a universal plug and then it allows you to charge a series of USB type C and USB type A devices. So these three ports in blue max out at 100 watts, this one maxes out at 20 and then this one max or these two here max out at 60 so that kind of gives you an idea. Now there is a complex chart that the manufacturer provides and I'll put it up on the screen here momentarily that tells you if you were to plug in everything here what the maximum wattage is going to be for each port. So it is going to uh, charge faster with less things plugged in and that's one of the things that makes it intelligent. Now this thing is obviously a little bit bigger than maybe two decks of cards uh, so it is pretty compact and the people that are going to want something like this are the ones that might have a traditional power strip like the one that I have here um, minus the USB ports, of course, uh, but wants a little bit of flexibility. So, if you think about all of the plugs that you would need and how much space that this would take up if you were to use every last one of them, that's six different chargers or uh, power bricks and things like that that you would need sticking out of a power bar. Now, you obviously want to be safe and not like string power bars together on top of power bars because um, that ultimately will create a fire hazard which we don't want but it does give you the option uh, to have a whole bunch of different uh, configurations for a cleaner desk. We do get a little manual here that primarily covers all of the different maximum wattages for things that are plugged in. It's pretty straightforward. So let's tidy this all up and take the included plug, shove that into the back, and we have uh, zero watts show up. So that means that there's currently nothing under uh, any load. Okay, so to start off the testing with this, we've got it reading zero watts. I have my ThinkPad X1 Nano here, and I'm gonna grab uh, the cable that I normally use when I'm GAN charging and this has got a limit of 100 watts and you do need to consider your cables too because if your cable wattage is not high enough then it won't matter. Okay so I've gone ahead and plugged that in and it's giving me a real-time readout about how many watts are currently being drawn. So the system is fully charged and it's in sleep mode I'm just curious if I open this thing up. Yeah, so if I open it up, we can see that it is drawing more power, which is something that we would uh, anticipate. And we can see it fluctuating uh, as the computer is doing a variety of different processes. So obviously, if this did need to be charged, we would see that number probably go much, much higher. 
let's try a different machine. I have this P15S that I'm going to plug in, and that does need some charge. And we can see that it is comfortably sitting at 13 watts. And if we go ahead and plug in the Nano at the same time, let me open that up. So this is currently running. We're getting anywhere from you know 20 to uh, 30 watts of draw on those two. And just because let's make a mess, I have this uh, USB-A to USB Type-C cable. And unsurprisingly, plugging in my phone doesn't make any appreciable difference uh, on the charger there. So there's a lot of practical applications for something like this, especially when uh, laptops are going in the direction of USB Type-C universal charging, is you could probably comfortably charge three, I'll say business grade laptops under, low, under lower load, um, or even moderate load, and you can see that on the uh, kind of the load chart we looked at earlier, what you can realistically draw from just these three USB type C ports that max out at 100 watts. So if you have a place that's a workstation that you need devices charged at, having this available does free up a whole lot of space. It is using GAN technology, so you do have a very, very small footprint, and the only thing that you need to provide are those USB type C to USB type C cables, uh, which are becoming more and more common all the time. While this may not be the most exciting thing that I've looked at recently, it is nice to see that this thing simply does what it says on the tin and provides a pretty easy to use charging experience that you could run in a variety of different configurations where space is at a premium. If you have any questions as I continue to use this, uh, make sure that you're leaving them in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.